Hey guys, welcome back to this final installment on our designing a hex nut and bolts. So in this series right here, we're going to be learning how to add the bolt onto our onto our nut, and we're also going to be learning how to do this simple animation. And so what we're going to do, the first thing that we have to do is we're going to go up and you want to make sure that you open both your bolt and your nut file from the previous videos. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go over here to new, we're going to make an assembly. And then you want to make sure that you have them open. So these are all the things that have been opened. And so the first thing I'm going to open up is I'm going to open up my bolts. screen and then I'm going to go up to my assembly I go insert components and then I'm going to insert the nut so I'm going to rotate these over so the next thing we have to do is we have to mate these two together so we're going to go ahead and hit mate and what you're going to do is you're going to go over here to where it says blind and you're going to turn on your view temporary axis you should see these two axes that pull up and then we're gonna select the axis that's on the bolt, and we're gonna select the axis that's on the nut. We should say axis one, axis two. We wanna make sure that's coincident, and then we're gonna hit the OK button. So that's the first mate that we need to do. And so now the next thing that we're gonna be doing is we're gonna go up and hide our axis that we had on. And then we're going to choose our section view. So we're going to hit the check mark here. We're going to hit our section view. When we hit the section view, we're going to go up to where it says assembly. We're going to go down to where it says bolt. And we're going to go onto the right plane of the bolt. And then you're going to hit the check mark. So this is what we're looking at right now. And so we should be seeing this. So if we hit our view right here. So what you want to do is you want to make sure that your that everything is lined up. So if you want to scroll in, you want to make sure that all your teeth line up like this. You want to bring it over here. You can check it a little bit better. So it should look just like this, where everything's lined up. You are going to have a space here at the end. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go back up and we're going to go to the section view. We're going to click on it. So I want to take this nut. I'm going to I'm going to bring it out to about right here. So that way we can see our axis on our nut is clearly defined off of the bolt. So the next thing we have to do is we have to go back up to assembly and we're going to go and we're going to make our next selection. And this is gonna be our mechanical mate. So when you first open this up, you're gonna make sure that you delete this face right here. And you go up to mechanical, you're gonna select screw. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this axis, which is off of the brush nut. And then I'm gonna scroll in to this face right here. And it should say face one bolt part two. Our distance is gonna be 1.5. Remember that our nut and our bolt are both 12 times 1.5. So this is gonna be the distance or revolution. We are gonna have reverse and we're gonna hit the check mark. Hit the check mark one more time and then scroll out. So now we're gonna test our revolution. So let's go ahead and go take off our axis. And so this should revolve when we turn it. Okay, so you can see that it's going onto our bolt. Okay, so we have one more relationship that we have to define, and that's gonna be the relationship that's gonna be from the, the head of the bolt to the top of the nut. So we wanna make sure that when we move this up, that the nut doesn't go past this set of threads. And then we wanna make sure that our nut doesn't go back past the end of our uh, bolt. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to mate. 
On this one right here, it's gonna be an advanced mate. So we're gonna go advanced and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna delete this right here. And so we're gonna come down here to this distance and this distance is gonna be one millimeter. So we're gonna keep it at one. Now we're gonna choose the nut and the bolt faces. So we're just gonna rotate this over. I'm gonna choose this face and I'm gonna choose this face. So you can see it goes all the way up. Now I'm gonna go down to this distance right here. This is gonna be our maximum value. So the maximum value right here is gonna be 40. So we're gonna change this maximum value right here to 40. And then this distance right here is going to be the offset that we have up here. So that's gonna be five millimeters. I'm gonna hit the check mark. Check mark one more time. So now when we do this right here, it should have that offset right here. Okay. So now there's one more thing that we have to do and that's going to be to create our animation. So before we create our animations, I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna hit this rebuild, and then we're gonna come down here to motion study. Our top key properties right here, we're gonna move over to 20 seconds. So we're gonna put this at 20 seconds. That's gonna be the length of our animation. We're gonna come up here to our motion study properties and on this motion study properties, we're going to go to our animations frame per second, and we're going to change this to 50. Check mark. Then we're going to come over here and we're going to add our motor. So the motor is what's actually going to move our nut off of our bolt. So we're going to come down here to motion. We're going to change this to 40 RPMs. And then now we have to select the face of where the motor is going to be. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this face right here. And you can see the arrow. So that's going to be the direction that the, the nut's going to be moving. And so we're going to hit the check mark. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to hit calculate. And this is going to calculate our animation for us. So let this run for the 20 seconds here. And so while this is running, you can see that the properties for the both the nut and the bolt are very important. If you do not, if you do not draw the properties correctly, uh, it's not going to line up when you do your initial mate, and it's not going to line up when you do your mechanical mate either. Okay, so we're done right here. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to reduce this right here, and then we're going to test it. So let's go up here to click on this. We're going to click on to our, our x-axis right here. We're going to recenter our bolt right here so we can see it better. And then we're going to hit play. So this should go to about this point right here. And so it looks like everything is working right, working correct. Last thing that we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to hit save. We are going to rebuild a save document. And we're just going to name this as nut and bolt assembly. And we're going to save it to our drive. And that's going to be about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video one more time. And if you can, just give me a like and subscribe. And I hope you guys have a great day.